What's going on, family? Y'all bring the doorbell for me. Happy Sunday. Sunday dinner vlog. Y'all ready? Cooking live with your boo. Hey. Cooking live with your boo. Hey. Cooking live with your boo. You ain't know what to do, so I had to come through. Hey, hey. Cooking live with your boo. Hey. Cooking live with your boo. Hey, hey. Cooking live with your boo. You ain't know what to do, so I had to come through. Okay. Had to. Come show y'all some love. And some good cooking. What's up, Miss Glow? Doing good? Yeah, you can see him. I gotta change the lights. It's flickering. There it go. They think they finna eat and they just ate with a green to sell. Say hey family. Say hey. How y'all doing today? Happy Sunday. We think our mom finna grandma finna give us something to eat, but uh we just ate, but they gonna be surprised. That they ain't finna get nothing to eat. They just put on the show for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all uh, ring the doorbell for me. I'll just stay still warm. Okay. <laughs> Look at them. Hey, family. Getting big. Let me see how old they are. September. Four months old. They four months old, y'all. Four months. These my grandbabies. Y'all ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up the like button for your girl one time for the one time. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. Ring in the doorbell. Hey, ring in the doorbell. Hey, ring in the doorbell. For your girl, one more time. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the, I put a ding on the, I put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Hey, if you don't mind, ring in the doorbell. Hey. Ring in the doorbell. Hey, ring in the doorbell. For your girl, one more time. You better move. Put that ding on a hey. Put that ding on a put the ding on a doorbell. Hey, put the ding on a doorbell. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all better. What's going on? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, y'all. So. 
I see y'all Ryan here doing some good Sunday dinner cooking. Child, what's going on? SpongeBob, child, SpongeBob house in there too, child. Child, yes. What's going on? Um, hold on, Jalea. Jalea, I hope I ain't said that right, but if I did, welcome to the welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. Y'all welcome, Jalea Lemon. A lemon. I ain't want to say lemon. You know what I'm saying? I want to say it like it's fancy because it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Lamont, you better go on, girl. Y'all welcome Jaleel to the family. Hey, Alicia Wilkins. Y'all welcome her to the family as well. Coming through one time for the one time. You better go. Uh, uh, Y'all welcome Alicia to the family. What's going on, my boutique love? Hey, my sugar. Lean, what's going on, you? I can't never read what you're saying, but hey. Hey, Miss Glow. Hey, um, Miss Tanya. Good evening to you as well. You like my <clears throat> crinkle curly child, honey. Ain't gonna stay like this, Tiffany child. Out, honey, listen. It's doing, it's giving what it's supposed to give, though. You know what I'm saying? Loving it. How you doing this Sunday? Hey, Carlotta, you throwing down today? Girl, you best to know it. Hey, um... Who else? Yeah, they done got big. Yes, I don't know how many of them in there. Still don't know how many in there. But I know ain't none of them died. All of them still in there. Thank you, Miss Glow. <laughs> What's going on, Yolani? Tell them ring that doorbell. What's going on, Eva? Happy Sunday to you as well. Grandma, they say happy, happy Sunday. Hey, Miss Barbara. Uh, let me see. Yes, it's trying to grow, Miss Gloria. What's going on, Dee Dee, up here in New York with all this damn snow? Girl, I know you is, girl. What you cooking, child, to stay warm? To put uh, some food on your stomach, child. What's going on, Red Row? Good to see you. And I got it going on, uh, too. It's good to see you as well. Y'all coming through today. What's going on, Beth? Happy Sunday. You gonna grill some chicken wings tonight, child? You better boo, honey. Take one down through there for me as well, okay? You know I love chicken. Hey, Miss Adrian. Thank you, sugar. I'm trying. You know I'm doing a little something, something, child. Nothing major, a little slight work. You know what I'm saying? A little razzle dazzle. You know what's the name of the fish, child? Grandbabies. <laughs> Grandbabies, child. Too many to give my name, honey. The three biggest one I could get them a name, but it, uh, eventually I ain't gonna know who the hell they is either by the time those grandchildren get up beside. <laughs> oh, you making chili rice? Oh, that sounds good. Yes, honey, chili and rice. Put that chili on top of that rice out of Oh, girl, you better. Girl, you better. What's going on, Miss Deloria? Miss Delois? Yeah, I wish you all too, girl, so you could get into this meal that I'm about to cook today, child, honey. Just pull up to the table, okay? Don't feel no shame, honey, and get down with the get down. You hear me? Can't wait to see the meatloaf. Oh, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. And I and what's going on, Susie Bull? What's going on? How you doing? And Miss Angela, child, hey. How you doing? You keep trying to keep warm in New York, child. I don't blame you, child. You got to do something. It was freezing cold here last night, child. Y'all going to laugh, honey, because y'all around there get snow. But uh, we around here in the... It was like 32 degrees last night. 30... Wait, was it 32? It was 32 or 39. One or the other. Don't start me for lying. Don't start me lying. But I think it was one of them. 32 or 39. But, well, honey, it was too damn cold to be out there. I'm putting it like that. Okay. Hey, all this, Tiana, my grandmama. Hold on, Tiana, my grandmama. Yeah, ma, thank you for sharing her. Love to see her. I no longer have any living girl. Oh, where's your grandmama? Yeah, yeah, ma. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So it flew off my head for a second, child. Okay, thank you for sharing her. Love to see her. No longer have any grandparents. Sorry to hear that, but child, she's sitting at the table, honey, feeding her face, child. Over there eating. Hey, Spirit Phil. What's going on, sugar? Happy Sunday. Hey, Miss Eda. Tell them ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up the light button if y'all don't know what it is. 69 of y'all in here. Only 36 of y'all 
Wrong the doorbell. If you don't mind, ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up, the like button. Show your girls some support. That helps share me and help my regulars get their notifications just in case they ain't getting them. So you you two can recommend me, y'all. Okay? Go on, ring the doorbell. Try. Is it going to... Honey, let me, hold on. Let me give you a minute because I know some of y'all got me on the TV. Is that what it is? You need some time. I ain't gonna do nothing without you, so go on, on and put me on pause for the calls, okay? And ring the doorbell. Feed your face, Grandma. I love you. Grandma, they said they love you. Hey, brothers and sisters, good to see everybody. Hey, Brandy, put the pause for the calls. Y'all gonna ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up, the like button. Goodness, it ain't no doorbell like that. That's just what I like to call it, y'all. Okay, go on, on, because I'm about to, uh, uh, y'all finna have a good time today. I'm about to show y'all how to make some good old what's on the mean today. I ain't tell y'all that. Okay. Oh, and I was finna say this before I say what I'm finna say. I was fixing to say, I see in the comments, a lot of y'all is uh throwing down good today, child. Y'all done, uh, I guess y'all done been in retirement long enough, honey. And y'all is over there doing the do. I see y'all over there making some, uh, Making y'all some girl, you know, I always got to try to be on 1000 T love, you know. But you know, I see y'all over there making y'all some greens and and dressing and and chitlins, child. I'm like, look at my family over there showing out today. Over there making meatloaf, lean over there making her some turkey meatloaf. I'm like, look at them, they over there showing out. And I had already posted a video for y'all this morning just in case y'all wanted to make you do all the same or something that I had done made. And for those of you that watched the video and y'all saw me make the rice, the easy way to make rice, check the video out today after y'all leave this live. Check the video out today of how I made my quick rice, but what I made on that video was some ham, some rice, um, greens, and fried cornbread, the whole cake. So if y'all want to know how to make that, go and check that video out. After this video, go ahead on and, and hit watch later on it or something so you will have it in your notification whenever you get off of here. But anywho, don't go nowhere right now. But yeah, so I'm like, okay. My family over there, they over there doing they thug pills. They just throwing down in the kitchen of that child. I was proud of y'all. So I said, you know what? Let me go on and get on and uh, uh, do my little meatloaf and and cabbages and my chicken dressing chai that I had them pulled out the freezer from Thanksgiving, honey. And I say, you know what? Great minds think alike. I said, we over here just throwing down one time for the one time on this good Sunday here. Thank you, Lord, for another Sunday, y'all. So I'm finna, I, I decided to come on and cook with y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Take some notes, okay? Cause honey, y'all don't y'all know I don't measure. Just put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. All right. What's going on, Kia? Yeah, I seen you talking about some of your barbecue ribs, macaroni cheese, string beans, and lazy. Oh no, that one you, but you somebody else was making the same thing you made. It was barbecue ribs, macaroni and cheese, green beans or greens, and some dressing. Child, I'm like y'all, child, save me a plate. Okay. Hun, I need me several. And I definitely need some of that chili over there, Didi. So don't think that you is excused from this right here. Okay. No negativity over here. We blessed. And hey, you better know it. Well, to be honest with you, I ain't cooked nothing today. I'm going for anything that kills hunger. Listen, hey, up. That's all right, because you already know how I do over here. I'm going to go ahead and on and do it up one time for the one time, because you already know. Before this video is over, your ass going to be marching on to that kitchen, taking you something. I don't care if you're going to fry you some fish or some frozen tilapia. But you're going to get in that kitchen and cook you something. Watch and see what I tell you, child. You want me to pull out? You know what, Tiana? I decided to pull, the, pull out this, uh, this, this dog on ham my hair from Christmas. <laughs> You're going to do something. Watch and see what I tell you now. <sighs> we not deaf, but you may be. What you said? Hold on. Lord, your voice, we not deaf, but you may have a hearing problem. And I think you just might as well. Might have one as well. So, if you don't like it, let me let you hear me real loud and clear. Take your ass somewhere else. Okay, because you ain't got to be here. Thank you. What's going on? What's going on, Kia? 
baby sound good. I know, honey. I had I had Bay almost doing a whole U-turn try getting over there to the grocery store. <laughs> Getting over there to the grocery store so uh, she can make so uh, so I can make me some cabbages today, honey. I got that hard job bacon in the refrigerator. And child, I think that's all I was thinking about when I did the um when I was thinking about them cabbages. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna throw me some hard job bacon off up in there. We're gonna have this meatloaf. I forgot to buy me some quick gravy so I can make me some quick gravy. So I might make some gravy. I might not. Y'all know when I get the cookie, you know, this is my happy place. So once I get the cookie, you just never know what I might start doing. I might make some gravy or we might just slap some ketchup on that meatloaf and keep it pushing. You feel me? All right. So I thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all enjoy y'all You what you said. All right, see you later, do sis. I enjoyed your little two seconds of fame. You, I hope you enjoyed your little two seconds of fame. And I thank you for stopping by here. At least give me a few minutes of your time. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Cause one thing for certain, two things for sure, Miss Marsha Edwards. You will be back. Okay, I'm just letting you know. You are, you, you gonna come back? It just, it. it I, I attract them like that. You know what I'm saying? So you can you can go on to dismiss yourself right now because you're being ignorant. You know what I'm saying? We don't mind you going on because one thing about our channel over here, we don't do the negativity. We all about positivity. So if you ain't got none of that up in you, you can go ahead on. I don't, I don't mind, honey. Be my guest, honey. Help me out. Okay. All right. So y'all, let's go on to get into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm be quiet. I didn't feel like cooking made shrimp and chicken, fried rice, broccoli, and carrots, lots of onions. So, super quick. But that's so good, though. What you say, Grandma? Grandma said she'll see y'all later. That's so good, though. All right, so. Let's go ahead and get into it. Get into it. Welcome to my channel. If you was new, thank y'all for coming. But y'all is going to enjoy yourself. Yeah, you thank you. All right, so first thing first, we're going to go ahead on. Y'all know I don't like no slow cooking, just thinning around. So first thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to get our... Hold on, let me get the stuff out real quick. I'm going to let you know. Let me post my cash out for y'all too. If you want to, if you don't, at the end of the day, I ain't gonna be mad at you because you ain't got to, you know. But if you want to and you can't, I appreciate you. <clears throat> All right, so woo, let me get my oven on. Okay, so I took out me some um 
chicken dressing. I took out me some chicken dressing <clears throat> that I had from Thanksgiving, you know? And so what I'm about to do is get my chicken dressing. It's still kind of froze in my pan. And for those of you that didn't know, now you know. You can freeze chicken dressing, honey. Stop throwing away all your food. Barbecue chicken, baked beans, and what else? Okay. So we're going to... I'm going to break... Okay, it's kind of soft. So I'm going to break this here down. Ooh. I didn't need all this. I should have took out one bag like I started to, but y'all know I can't cook a little bit. So we're gonna let this hill start, we're gonna put this in the oven and let this hill start thawing out more so that I can mash it together like it's supposed to, supposed to be. Yes, ma'am. Took your medicine? Okay. So we're going to get this on in the first. All right. Okay. No, I'm good, Grandma. All right, so now I'm just going to... No, I'm okay. Go ahead, do what you're going to do. Put a little water on there. Just to have some moisture. You don't want... I said, go ahead, I'm all right. Okay. Love you, too. Okay, so then I'm going to put some foil on here. What you say? Hey, beautiful queen. Thank you, um, Miss Janice. Happy Sunday to you. Put some foil on there because, you know, if you don't put the foil on there, then it's going to dry out. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell, hitting the thumbs up, the like button. If you was new or welcome, let me know so that we can welcome you into the family because that's what I do here on my channel. So I'm just going to let my oven preheat. While it's preheating, I'm going to set this to the side. And the next thing we're going to work on is our meatloaf. And I'm going to put that back in the freezer. Okay. We ain't gonna start the cabbage so soon because cabbage don't take long to cook. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna try to get y'all in here as good as I can. All right, so what you're gonna need for the meatloaf is you're gonna need you some ground beef, ground turkey, or if you wanna do you some chicken meatloaf, or you could do you some ground venison or whatever kind of meat that you wanna do, the ground meat.
All right. So now, <clears throat> to the meatloaf, what I'm going to add is some black pepper. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to add some... Lipton onion soup mix, one packet, onion powder, but I ain't got none. We're going to add Just a tad bit of beef bouillon seasoning, just for that beefy flavor. Okay. whatever size you got. We're going to mix up our, some um, onion. I'm going to do half an onion, half of a bell pepper. I'm also going to add <clears throat> Some Italian breadcrumbs, or you could do regular breadcrumbs. It's up to you. And I'm going to add some flour. I got some self-rising flour. <clears throat> you can add some Worcestershire, or however you say it, sauce to yours if you want to. I ain't got none, so I ain't going to put none in there. But if I had some, honey, I would have thrown some off up in there. You better know I would have. All right, so... <clears throat> With meatloaf, you're going to have to use your hands. Like, I don't understand the finickiness with the meats and hands and food and stuff like that when you know you got to cook. But that's not for me to understand. I use my hands. I don't use all the gloves and all that stuff like that. Anybody got time for all that? Okay? All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack my two eggs. Then I'm going to add this packet of Lipton onion soup mix. You're going to add just some breadcrumbs. The reason why I add breadcrumbs is because it's just like <coughs> toasting some bread or crumbling up you some fresh bread or old bread or whatever and putting it in here because it gives it moisture. So I'm going to add some breadcrumbs to that. I added maybe like a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. I'm going to add some season to your own taste. Garlic powder. Black pepper. At this point, you can add a few dashes of the um, Worcestershire sauce. 
the wish you would try to save me sauce, the one that came nobody never say we're gonna add us just maybe like a little tea tablespoon, teaspoon, tablespoon of beef bouillon. Maybe like a teaspoon, teaspoon. Um, then we're gonna add a little bit of the flour. Now the eggs is a blunt binder, but the flour is as well. In my opinion, and I want y'all to give this a try, just in case you never did this before. <clears throat> Whenever you make hamburgers or meatloaf, I want you to do it just like you, whenever you're doing hamburgers or whatever, I want you to do the hamburgers just like you make a meatloaf. Or I, if you're making meatloaf, I want you to do it like this. Okay, I want you to add eggs to your meat. Okay, well, it depends on how much you make it. I have a lot of meat, so I added two eggs. Um, if you don't have as much meat, add one egg. I'm going to add flour to it. Here's my, here's what I think about it. And somebody may disagree, but I proved my point and showed the difference before here on my video, maybe over a year ago. And they saw that it does make a difference when you add flour. The reason why I add flour is because you know how when you make a meatloaf or hamburgers and it start cooking and the grease start cooking out of the meat, your burgers start balling up, look like a little fist, right? Little bitty burgers. And you eat, you start out with your burger about big as your hand, but you end up one about this big. Okay. If you add flour to it, trust me, if you add flour, it keeps your burgers from shrinking as much. If you add flour, it keeps your meatloaf from shrinking as much. It's still going to release the grease and all that stuff up out, up out of it, but is going to keep the same size okay all right so we're going to add us some flour to this right here and i just add just enough to bind it together i can't tell you how much because you may be cooking more meat than me or maybe more or less or lesser meat than me i don't measure i just i just i just i measure by my eye i know what i want i know what it's supposed to feel like i know what it's supposed to look like so i'm adding some just to you know get it together i don't want it so sticky but i want some in there where it holds together real good all right so now we got that so what we're going to do at this point here is sit this to the side I'm going to wash my bell pepper and we're going to get an onion cup up, cut up in here. Okay, so my oven is set. I'm gonna go ahead on and throw my meat, my uh, chicken dressing on in there and let it start doing what it do. All right, so we're gonna get our onion cut up and I'm just gonna get this till diced up nice and fine. Hey, uh, Mig, you know who you is, Mig, Bays, or something like that. Welcome to the family where it's grandma, grandma's in her room watching TV, just finished eating. Hey, Miss Elizabeth. Hey, Miss Brenda. Hey, everybody coming in that came in that I did not see. So I'm going to get this onion here diced up real nice and fine. You can use your food processor if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to. Dice this here up. All 
I hope y'all had a good day today. Stay warm. And out of harm's way today. So I'm dicing it up fine. And that's just so, you know, my onions will be in my meatloaf like I want it. All right. So we got that done. So now we're going to sweep that to the side. All right. So now we're going to do half of this bell pepper. clean the bell pepper out thank y'all for coming hey y'all 150 51 thank y'all for ringing that doorbell i appreciate y'all for coming and ringing the doorbell if you're new here welcome thank you for coming let me know who you is so we can welcome you to the family and also only thing i ask y'all to do is ring the doorbell what i mean by ring the doorbell is hit the thumbs up the like button one time for the one time for your girl if you don't mind all right so we're going to do the same thing with this hair bell pepper we're going to dice it up real good and we're going to get that dough right down in this meatloaf along with all the rest of our ingredients you don't have to add bell pepper now everything i'm showing you is optional it's not like i'm i'm, I'm forcing you to use anything everything is optional i'm just giving you a guide as to how i make mine you take what you like and what you don't like and add it or take it away and do what you want to do and make it your own it's up to you okay okay I feel like I'm finna be extra on y'all today. So y'all just roll with me cause I am very extra when it comes to my food. I do whatever I feel like that day. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm finna be extra. Y'all done seen this before. And I think I'm about to do it for y'all again because I got me some chicken dressing. And I like cranberry sauce with my dressing. And I like a nice gravy on my dressing. I mean, I'm, yeah, on my dressing. I'm, I, when it comes to meatloaf, I'm honestly and truly, hands down, is the gravy girl. You know what I'm saying? Some people like the barbecue sauce. Some people like the ketchup. Some people like, you know, whatever else they like on their meatloaf. But I'm really the gravy girl. You know what I'm saying? Because, honey, we could take that gravy woo, and put it on this dressing or if you made you some rice or you some mashed potatoes, baby. And it'd be so... Sorry, y'all. I didn't even know we was paused. Did y'all hear what I was saying? Did y'all hear me? I hope y'all heard me. Did y'all hear me? Lord, I don't even know we was, I ain't even know we was paused. Okay, so I got my bell pepper and I got my onion. And I cut them up nice and fine like that. Okay, I'm okay. like that right there okay all right so now we're just gonna take this up and put it in this hill meatloaf okay okay yeah i'm a gravy girl i'm a gravy girl all right 
So we adding that right on in there. So I think I'm gonna be extra on y'all today. For those of you who ain't never seen it before, honey, it's a real neat way, but it can be a little complicating if you if you ain't got patience for cook, cooking what I'm about to do. But what I'm about to do, you ain't gonna have to do. Okay, just know that. All right. gonna be real neat for y'all so y'all ring this doorbell hit the thumbs up the like button if you like different type of cooking if you like good food if you just a foodie if you just love my channel if you was new here if you was enjoying yourself y'all ring that doorbell hit the thumbs up the like button for me one time for the one time if you don't mind show your support ain't nothing wrong with it help support you know smaller channels and you know growing channels and less known people here on youtube like myself you know so all right so now what i'm about to do is i'm about to mix all this together by hand don't let it gross you out but this is the best way to mix up your meatloaf because you can get in there and make sure everything is blended and mixed through evenly so you're just going to squeeze and mash and mix, squeeze, mash, mix, and more. Squeeze, mash, mix, and continue doing it until everything is blended together. Thank you, Miss Hazel. What's going on, B-Love Daily? You love when I break out singing, girl. You know I will. Got a song for everything. Hold on, y'all. Let me go unlock my door. You can um, close that dough, but I don't need it. All right. So continue to mix until you get everything. What's going on, um, Terrell Wanamaker? I'm doing good in yourself. If you're the same one, which I think you are, welcome back again. Hey, Miss Gail. Good to see you, sugar. All right, now that I got it pretty much nice and blended, it feel even and smooth. Everything feels tucked in. That's why I say do it with your hands so you can feel it because it won't feel as lumpy. It'll feel nice and smooth. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this here and I'm going to be extra. So what you will do is you will take yours and put it in a pan, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take mine and put it in a skillet. It's going to be what I'm about to make for y'all is a stovetop meatloaf. So, we're going to get it hooked up together just like a meatloaf. Let me turn this off real quick. I be forgetting I ain't got to really heat my, my stove up and stuff because, you know, I'm used to electric, not gas. But, even it out. Let 
like I said, it's going to be a little difficult because of what I'm going to do. But if you got patience for food, try it. Shape it on up nicely. Okay. All right, so I got that. So now we're going to get the skillet on. Let We're going to let this hill start frying and browning on that bottom side. You're going to notice that it's going to start releasing the grease and all that stuff right there, but it's not going to shrink as much because of adding that flour to it. Sugar, I know you be sitting in the background watching on your TV and don't never come in. But when the video of you always come back and tell me that you be back there watching, but you be watching on the TV. So hey, sugar, and hey, everybody else that's on the background watching on your TV, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up though. Get your phone so you can do it. While we let this do what it's gonna do, let's start working on the cabbage. Either one, whatever your preference. Don't 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 be picky. Don't don't worry about that part right there. It ain't gonna matter. Either one that you like, that's the one that you use. Like I said, when you do this, you can use ground chicken, ground beef, ground turkey, or veal, any kind of meat that you want to use to make your meatloaf. If you want to do a pork meatloaf, it's up to you. It does not matter. It does not matter. And what I tell y'all, a lot of things that y'all, a lot of questions that y'all ask, sometimes it really don't matter because that be up to you and what you want to do. Okay. You welcome. Thank y'all for
cranking the dough, man. I appreciate you. All right. We're going to cut up this bell pepper. And this onion. Now my bell pepper and my onion, only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to slice it in strips. And this right here is going to be for the cabbage. If y'all don't put a uh, bell pepper onion in your cabbage, baby, I don't know where you been, baby. You've been up on the rock or something, something, well, child. You got to try. So, I'm going to You wish you had a gas stove, girl. I love it. It cooks so fast. So, I'm cutting these here into long strips. Then I'm just going to pack them and cut them three times. And that's good right there. Now I'm going to get me an onion. And do the same thing. Oh yeah, you're going to like it, um, V emojis. Welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome, V emojis, to the family. Yeah, you got, you're going to like it. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's good. It's really good this way. You just have to have the patience for doing it this way. And y'all, excuse the fan when it get ready to come on. Um, my fan do turn on by itself once the, it heats up and stuff like that, the overhead fan. And also, one more thing. Let me go and let y'all know before it happens. If we buffer out and the video freeze or anything, please do not go nowhere. Just give me a second and we will be right back, okay? Just stay right there. You ain't got to leave just because your, your phone done froze or, or something or it won't went black or whatever. Just hold for a second and we'll be right back. Sometimes it'll be, you know, our connection. All right, so now I'm gonna take my onion and I'm gonna do the same thing. Cut it three times. I like mine's nice and chunky because as it cooks with the um with the cabbage. It don't cook all the way down to nothing, but I don't like it crunchy. I do not like mine crunchy. So, but I do want to see it in there, you know? So, now we got that onion there. All right. So now, I'm going to set this here to the side. get to cutting up this cabbage but before I cut the cabbage it looks as if the meatloaf is ready to be turned over so that's why I said that this right here is it's delicious but it can be complicated because this is so big and you know kind of hard to turn over so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be real quick with this Slide it to one side. Get my spatula. Turn it 
turn it over. It's easier when you kind of like grip it. You got to go fast with it. You can't be slow. Because if you be slow, it'll tear up on you. So now we're just letting it brown on that side. You cook cabbage often, my husband, he loves cabbage. He don't like greens and stuff like that, so. Thank you, Miss Angela, for letting them know to hit the like button. I appreciate you, sugar. All right, so, got my cabbage. We're about to get this to a cut up. The outer leaves, the dark ones, don't throw them away. Oh, this is a dirty cabbage, baby. Take them off. Those right there, we're gonna cook by themselves. Now, when you start getting down to these little thinner, lighter leaves, we good. Let me rinse this off. So now, just let this meatloaf continue to brown on that opposite side, get crispy and all that good stuff. I'm gonna rinse these leaves off. All right, so as you can see, it has created oil. To make it easier for yourself, only thing you got to do is get you a spoon and dip that oil right out the pan. That way you ain't got to move this again. You ain't gonna get all of it, but it's gonna be okay. A little fat is flavor. So now, Here's what we're about to do. The meatloaf is brown. We're gonna take us about two tablespoons of flour. We're gonna take us some of this beef bouillon seasoning for that beefy flavor. Garlic powder, get you some onion powder, but I ain't got none. Black pepper. I'm gonna throw me a little seasoning salt. Or, 
you can get you a packet of the McCormick Brown Gravy Mix. Two packets of it, actually. And mix it up and do what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take you some hot water. Hey y'all, 219 of y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Welcome to my channel. I'm your girl T. I'm not going to be me. Only thing I ask y'all to do is ring the doorbell, hit the thumbs up, the like button. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're enjoying yourself. If you're as new, let us know so we can welcome you to my channel. I hope you uh, stick around, hit that subscribe button, and um, set the notification bell to all so you'll be notified when I come on live or upload a video. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this hot water down in here. You brown the meatloaf because it's going to give you that brown color to your gravy. The meatloaf is not done all the way through, but this gravy is going to sink down in this meatloaf and cook this meatloaf all the way through. I put enough water to come all the way up to the top of the meatloaf, but you ain't got to cover it up. Now, let that come up to a boil. Put your lid on. The reason why you want to let this come up to a boil is because the, the work we just did with browning this meatloaf, the crisp be bits in the bottom of the pan and that's attached to the meatloaf is going to start releasing into this water and start turning this water brown and that's going to help with browning the gravy and giving it more flavor so let this here come up to a boil but while we wait on that we're going to take us this is a quick and easy gravy because we is not going to lift this meatloaf up out of this pan and risk tearing it up so we're going to do us a slurry so you're going to take you some hot water along with this flour that I have mixed together. I don't measure y'all, so I can't measure it for you. I don't know. Just make it like a watery slurry. If, if, if by the time it start cooking, and I'll tell you that part. Let me tell you now just in case it forget. But by the time this here start cooking, and you add this to that and it come up to a boil and it don't seem to start getting thick. If it don't, if it's not getting thick, just take you a little bit more flour. It's best to add a teaspoon at a time. Do a little bit by little bit instead of adding a lot and you end up with too much. So if it's not thick enough by the time this, when we put that in there with this water. And um, if it start, if it don't thicken, then add you a little more flour to some water. Mix it up pour it in there until it start getting thick enough but once it come up to a boil that's how you know how thick it'll be getting so you want to go ahead on to do this because it's going to have a little lumps in there right so these little lumps that's in here when you let this here sit they're gonna start blending in and you ain't gonna have them in here no matter how many lumps you have by the time you mix this here on up and let it sit, them lumps of beet on went away by the time it's time ready to add it to our meatloaf. So that's what I got right there. Now my gravy is supposed to be seasoned, right? Because I added some seasoning to it, and the seasoning from the meat is gonna start coming out. If it's not seasoned, season to taste once you taste your gravy, okay? You could just sprinkle you a little bit more of whatever you feel that you may need in there. So we're going to let this here sit to the side while I work on this cabbage.
All right. So let's do the let's do the cabbage leaves first. These uh, darker leaves. A lot of people throw these away when you don't have to. Take these leaves. Cut them up fine or small, but you know, fine is good. Just like you're doing collard greens. Cut them up like that. everybody while I'm cooking okay so if you're seeing something and you want your comment to be seen I ask that you use the super chat that's what it's for it will highlight your comment and I will be able to see you as you pop up but with everybody trying to talk at one time and you're not being highlighted I'm gonna miss you so if you want your comment to be seen use the super chat it don't matter how much you donate, you donate to the channel. That's going to help me produce more videos and bring you good content, you know? So whatever you feel that you may want to donate, it's up to you. But I was just throwing that out there to let y'all know. All right, so. And how you use the Super, Ch uh, super Chat is that little dollar sign right next to, um, in the comment, where you make your comment at. All right, so. I'm gonna get me a pot, put me some water in. I'm gonna get that on back here. Right? Okay. You do not have to add seasonings or nothing to that. What we about to do is we about to take these here cabbage leaves that we just cut up and put those in this pot right here by themselves and let them just start cooking because these right here take longer to cook than the cabbage. So if you just go ahead on and get a head start on these, by the time the cabbage is done, you can just go ahead on and add those right into your cabbage and everything will be nice and tender at the same time. So I'm gonna get a lid on that. Uh, hit the like button, Miss uh, Angela. All right, so now let's get back to the rest of the cabbage. Oh, hold on before we get back to the rest of the cabbage. The water is boiling on the meatloaf. As you can see, the water is starting to change colors on this meatloaf. Right? I put a lot in there because I want a lot of gravy. I like a lot of gravy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here and just add it right on in here. And now this here is going to start creating 
a gravy. You don't want no real heavy gravy, real thick gravy. You want you a nice light gravy because as this cook, it's going to thicken. As it cool, it's going to thicken. So don't do, you know, real heavy gravy. Now I'm gonna show y'all, if that's not thick enough, like I say, it's best to start out with a little bit. And if it's not thick enough, then I will go back and I'll add me a little bit more. But, so now what we're just gonna do, is add a little bit more. Cause honey, I can tell it ain't thick enough cause this is already boiling. Because when it come up to a boil, it's going to thicken, y'all. Just remember that. So you just add you a little bit more to a little bit more water or to a little bit of that right there out the pan. You ain't got to add no more water. Because the only thing you got to do is get you some of this here, add it on in here. Mix it around. Get it like a nice little slurry. I'm gonna let this here sit to the side so my lungs can, you know, blend in. I got a nice little slurry this time. So once I add this to that, I know it's gonna thicken it. All right, so let that down do its thing. You ain't got to be babysitting. Turn it down and let it simmer. Don't let it cook fast. Just let it simmer because you want to. You want this gravy. You want to give this gravy time to get into this meat and just you know you want to be juicy and just real you know nice and full of you know that gravy flavor. So it's the same way as making uh, hamburger steaks and gravy. They go to the fan, y'all. Hamburger steaks and gravy or Salisbury steaks. Same way. We're just doing it with a meatloaf. All right, don't let the fan aggravate you because it's going to be on anyway. I can't help it. It's going to turn off. Okay, so now... I'm gonna cut the head, the root off this cabbage. Like that. You're gonna take your cabbage, lay it flat down on the side, you just cut. Cut it halfway. Halfway, you got that rest of the root still in there. You want to cut that root out. I'm trying to get it where you can see it. See that? Still got this root here. You want to cut that out. So you're going to come in a triangle right around that root and cut that root up out of there. just like that and then you'll get your knife and pop it out I don't know why y'all y'all can't see there we go you see how I did that I went around it just like that hey miss hey uh baby D you're welcome Dylan I know everybody don't understand and I know some people probably like oh she just no everybody don't know how to cook and everybody don't know, you know, what to do. Some people, they had somebody cook it, you know, cook these recipes for them. And they never learn it themselves. So that's what I'm here for. You see that? Take it. And it'll pop right out. So now you love 
with nothing but good old cabbage. Y'all welcome Dylan Harvey to the family, if you don't mind. And just do the same thing to the other half. So now a lot of people, they like to take their cabbage and they want to slice it down fine, just like I did the green part. You ain't got to be doing all that, y'all, okay? Unless that's just what you want to do and that's, that's how you like it. Child, take that cabbage, slice that half in half, right? Now you got you one of the quarters. Just cut it up. It's going to cook down. It's gonna take on flavor. It's still gonna taste the same. Don't be doing all the, all the extra stuff. Take those slices, cut those in half, that way they be smaller pieces if that's what you wanna do. That's all you got to do. And boom, you ain't cutting cabbage all day. See that? Still gonna cook good. So now you wanna get that and wash it. Wash it the same way. You wash your collard greens. So, I'm about to get this to See that? Like I said, I was able to tell that that gravy wasn't thick enough. See how watery that gravy is? That ain't really gonna get no thicker because the water is already boiling. That's how I know. Because like I said, as gravy boil, it thickens. So I know it ain't gonna get no thicker. Okay? All right. Take this here slurry. Like I said, when you have to, add you some more. And we just gonna mix that right on in. And now it's gonna be thicker. You want you a nice little light gravy that's going to glide right across this here meatloaf. All my lumps ain't, ain't do it, but it ain't sick long enough neither. But it's all right. Now I can feel the little weight. I can feel, I, I, just, I say that because I cook and I know what I'm talking about. But y'all see how this gravy done turn brown? That's from browning this meatloaf. So, I can feel the weight of it, and I can tell it's gonna be a little thick. I don't want it too thick, but I want a nice little gravy that's just gonna flow right over that meatloaf whenever I get ready to put some gravy on that meatloaf on the plate. All right, so now, just take your lid, put it back on now, let it finish doing what it's doing. Crack it though, cause the grease gonna make it boil over. All right, now let's turn this way. 
get over here to the sink. Alright, we got the cabbage. You're gonna take your cabbage and get it washed. You gotta wash your cabbage because it'll be dirty. Just put the salt on them and just wash it. Wash it just like you do greens. You can break the pieces up and uh, separate the layers if you want to from, you know, the big old thick chunks. Separate it. If y'all need my cash app, it's pinned above in the blue. Okay. So now we got that. We're just going to drain this water off of it and do it again, do it again.
Now I'm gonna let it swim in water this time because as I lift it up, all the dirt or whatever I probably miss, it'll drain right off like that, okay? So I'm gonna let that swim right here in this water till I'm ready for it. All right. Get right here. We're gonna go and get this here going. Let's check this dressing first. Took it out, add a little water to my pan, just put it in the pan, ain't did nothing to it. Now I'm about to mash it back together like you do in a dressing. Child, you couldn't tell me that I didn't cook this today. You couldn't tell me that this meatloaf one cooked today, child. I mean, this dress. So now I'm gonna put it back in the oven, uncover, because now I want it to kind of like, you know, dry out a little bit. Not get dry, but dry out a little bit, just like you do any other time when you're making a regular meatloaf. Okay. I mean, dress them. Why keep calling that a meatloaf? All right. About to get this cabbage going. Y'all is in there, ain't you? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all know I like you in the pot. All right, so now you can do you some turkey wings, turkey necks, smoked neck bones, turkey tails, pig tails, whatever kind of meat that you want to add to it. You bacon, whatever. You add that, it's up to you, okay? But to make this cabbage, I'm about to show y'all how to hook it up, child, okay? I got me some of this here, hog jaw bacon. It's a little bit saltier. You can check your paper. Okay, thank you, G, uh, uh, thank you, uh, JC. I can't check it right now, but I, I appreciate your donation and thank you once again for uh, sending it to me. All right, so um, here's the hog jaw bacon. You find this in the section with the smoked meat. It looks just like bacon. I like to eat this for bacon, but if you eat it for bacon you have to wash it off first because it's a little bit more salty and it's not going to be too salty I, well i can't say because it, it depends on your area but just get you some and try 
child, when I tell you, when this right here get to mix me around in them cabbage chai, and you pull you a piece out, ooh, the best. You just don't know. Y'all got to get with it. Okay, so I'm going to take my hard job bacon and get it down in my pan just like that. You can cut it up if you want to. I think I'm going to cut it up so I can stretch it, child. Stretch it. And that rind is tough. This the bacon that got that this the this the bacon that got that tough rind on it. It be crunchy when you cook it right. Some people can eat it, some can't. Just pin on the strength of your teeth. Now, you get that down in there. Fry it up. I'm putting quite a bit in mine because I like it. I'm going to check my gravy. We're going to let that fry. I'm going to check this little gravy. I'm going to roll that. Roll that over. See, it get easier to time once you let it start cooking. I'm gonna need a little bit more flour for that. I'm gonna taste it and see if it's what I want it. If it's seasoned enough. I ain't got no seasoning. I'm gonna add me some more chicken, beef, beef bouillon.
Now, you got the cabbage, the meat. And you're grinding it up. Like this right here. Get it nice and Ooh, that's hot. Get it nice and brown. It's releasing grease and everything. That's what you want. You ain't got to wait on to get all the way crispy because once you add the cabbage to it, it ain't going to be crispy no more. So now what I'm about to do is I'm going to add the bell pepper and onion. And you're gonna sweat that a little bit. Let it sweat, let it cook down a little bit until it get a little tender. When it get a little tender, we're gonna come right back to it. But y'all already know over here on my channel, we is a flat family. And I am doing a cooking vlog, not a cooking show. So don't go nowhere. Okay, I thought we was buffing. Don't go nowhere. But we got to wash these dishes. Okay. Got to. You can't be cooking in the kitchen and just be messing up every dish. And ain't washing them. So now I got that little break. We about to do a little washing. Y'all know it smells good in here, right? You know, you know it do. So let me talk to y'all while we wash these little dishes. What y'all got going on? Who here, who's new here? Katrina, girl, you know I got you, girl. Express mail, girl, I got you. 